Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is I am Brittany W. As you can see in the banner and this video right here is all about um, purpose and inspirational video. Most of the time here on my channel we talk about makeup, we talk about fashion, we talk about uh, people, makeup by the minute and style guide. But today is all about inspiration and this inspirational video is all about purpose purpose versus society like what does that even mean so let me start off by saying one i have been fighting with doing this video all week like you know how god would drop things in your spirit for you to talk about and you don't want to do it so you fight it and put it off i kid you not it is friday at 11 57 and I'm just now getting to it. And I've been feeling this way since like early this week, like that this is what I need to talk about. So you know what? You know what? Usually when your spirit and your flesh are fighting each other, that means that you just need to do it. Like, just do it. You're not going to kill anyone. You're not going to hurt anyone. Just put whatever God dropped into your spirit. By the way, I'm going to be coming from a Christian place because I'm a Christian. Like, I'm a Jesus lover. That's who I am. That's what I'm about. So anything that I say tonight will be based on biblical principalities, principles, principles. Um, and so, no, I'm not a preacher. <laughs> no. Um, but one thing is... Along my journey, I have had to stand on nothing but my faith and trust God throughout this process. So let's jump right in it. Here are um, five steps to getting you to your purpose or telling you what your purpose is or possibly even showing you what the purpose, what purpose is about. So let's start um, with the word purpose. So purpose, the, defin the, the Webster definition of it is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists like purpose to me is pretty much like your your gifts and your talents what you what comes easy for you to do that's what purpose is but it's like your stamp on the world like to me I feel like we as humans we're here to be bodies different body parts we make up different body parts for the body of Christ and like somebody is the hand, somebody is the head, somebody is the, t the feet, somebody is the arm, somebody's the leg, you know? And whatever your purpose is, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, so this week, literally, Proverbs eighteen sixteen, which says a gifts man will bring, will make room for him and bring him before great men. Like that is something that has been dropped in my spirit all this week. Like, I've been trying to like avoid it. I've been trying to like ignore it. It's not working. It will not leave me until literally right now when I get in front of this camera and talk to you guys about it. Like it's crazy. So if God is telling you to say something or do something, let me tell you something. Just be like Nike. Just do it. So let's jump right into the five steps. Okay. So the first thing you want to do when, when even figuring out your purpose or um, you're not really sure what to do or what your purpose is. First thing you want to do is ask God, go into prayer, ask God to show you what your gifts and your talents are, is and be specific because one to us humans, we think that God moves kind of slow. Like he's on his own. He's on his own time. Like one day, the Bible says that one day in a thousand days is like the same to him. So when you go to God in prayer, it's okay to say, you know what, Lord, I'm trying to figure this thing out on what you want me to do. Can you please, you know, tell me what it is immediately, swiftly. I've also learned that when you use words in an L-Y that, you know, it, it helps, speeds up the process. <laughs> and not just to just be like, oh, Lord, give me a man quickly. Like, don't do that. <laughs> That's not going to work. But like, Lord, show me what, what you want me to do. I'm really trying to figure this thing out. And I, I, you know, you ask him, you don't tell him, you can say things like, you know, um, I'm asking you to show me immediately, quickly. Um, please give me a response soon. Just be specific in your prayers as well. Super um, specific, you know, like for me personally, I have to say, because God can sometimes speak in parables and I don't be understanding. I'll be like, Lord. Um, this child right here of yours, she wrote the little short bus to school. So I need you to be super remedial, <laughs> just stuff like that. But it depends on, 
your relationship that you have with God. Like, I go to God and talk to him like that. And he's like, girl, you crazy, you know? So that's the first thing you want to do is go into prayer about what it is you should be doing and ask God and ask him to be specific and show you, like, keen in on what it is. And when you get it, when you get your answer, don't, um, of course, say thank you, but don't, like, second guess it or... Mm, is this me or is this God, you know, like he, he'll really show you. And also to like build a relationship with him. So, you know, the difference between his voice, your voice and the devil. I mean, let's just keep it real. Number two, the second thing you want to do when you come to your person purpose and trying to figure it out is it's usually the thing that comes easiest to you, whether it's doing hair, doing makeup, um, teaching, helping others, giving, if you like babysitting and you, and you like children, Maybe your purpose is to like be a caregiver or, you know, something to that extent. It's the one thing that comes super easy to you, you know, like for me, doing hair and makeup comes easy for me and I'm a creative doing hair, makeup and fashion comes really easy for me. So that's my purpose. Um, and for you, it might be dance. It might be um, coaching. It might be um, being a therapist. You know, that might be your calling on what you're supposed to do. And this one, it may be music. Not all of us, we all know, not all of us are meant to be in the entertainment industry, but some of us are called to be teachers or some of us are called to be uh, pastors. Some of us are called to be dentists and doctors and, you know, and even some of us even called to be sex therapists. Let's be honest, you know. <laughs> um, so it's the one thing that comes easily to you. That is how you can identify what your purpose is um and then let's see the third thing is you would do whatever that thing is for absolutely free that's how you know like you know we're all out here scrambling getting money and this is just a personal story like I've been trying to quote unquote get a real job for five years and it has not happened that door has been signed sealed and delivered shut honey like five years I've been trying to get a quote unquote regular job like a nine to five has not worked at all. Don't know what it is, but it's like, this is what I want you to do. This is what you're going to do. So if you're one of those people and you and you feel like in your job, like you should quit your job or and pursue what your purpose is or, um, and sometimes that'll happen. Sometimes God would be like, I need you to quit your job. And you're like, what? I got bills, I got kids, I got all of this. But that's just part of taking like a leap of faith, you know? And sometimes you have to do that. Me moving here to New York with $110 in my name, that was a leap of faith. Because deep down inside, I knew I wanted to be a hair and makeup artist. I didn't know to what extent it would take me, but I knew that this was my purpose, was to encourage women through beauty, fashion, film, and TV, through through the beauty outlets. That's my purpose. Um, let's see, four. Number four, your purpose is the one thing that will scare you. Like I said, if it was easy, everybody else would be doing it. Um, your purpose is going to be scary. It's probably the one thing that you're really good at, but you're scared to do. Like you're scared to tell people about your gifts and your talent because you're scared of the backlash or or fear. Fear is one one things that will stop you from doing what doing your purpose and you can't let fear do that to you you know sometimes you really just have to be like nike and just do it and that's what it, the society part comes in because being a millennial you know um society tells you you graduate from college and you go get a job and when you talk to older people like in their 60s and 50s they're like yo i wish i would have did what I was supposed to do or what I wanted to do, you know, in life. And millennials, we're so carefree. This generation, even the people that comes under millennials, we're so carefree. And we're like, you know what? I'm just going to try. I'm just going to cast my net out there and whatever happens will happen. That's just how we are, you know? It's And it's like society will tell you, no, you need to get a job. Well, what if you've been like, and what if you've been like me and you've been trying to get a job, but every door has been shut? Then what do you do? You have to keep going, right? You catch a net out there, and if you catch some fish, you catch some fish. And if you don't, you learn how to recatch your fish. That's a word for somebody. So number four is it's the it's the thing that you are most scared to do. Even this YouTube thing, I started this channel actually in 
2011 and I stopped. I was super nervous, super nervous, couldn't do it. And now I feel actually more comfortable when I'm sitting here talking to this camera, which is weird. It's like very weird because I would never, ever, ever, ever in a million years think that I would do something like this. First of all, I'm a super private person. Face it, So I'm a super private private person to begin with. And so me standing here talking in front of this camera, talking to you guys, like this is something that I would never do. So I know this ain't nothing but the grace of God. That's giving me nothing but strength right now and bravery. So thank you, God, for that. Um, number five. Number five is like, once you realize what your purpose is and what you're supposed to be doing, the next best thing for you to do is to learn your skill, learn it, learn everything about it, learn the founders of it, learn the people that come before you. Um, and and the the second part of it is to, to start teaching the people that's going to come after you. You know, you definitely want to take your gift and share it with the world, but also reach down and teach and pull somebody else up. You definitely want to teach someone else because let's face it. When you pass away, you're not going to take your gifts with you. It's like whatever you did on earth, is it's already done. So it's like you might as well stamp your footprint on this ground and then teach someone else. Circle of life, right? So that is how you identify what your purpose is and the difference between purpose and what society did society says to do if you really have enjoyed this video go ahead and thumbs this video up um leave a comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys later <laughs>